Great. So now we're going to continue with something that we have mentioned several times before, but we haven't addressed it completely as a regular or independent subject, which is that MX deployment options that you have with the Cisco Meraki dashboard and the Cisco Meraki MX security appliances. And there are two main modes. It's the NAT mode and the pass-through or VPN concentrator mode or the one-arm VPN concentrator mode. Let's take a look to those two and see what is the difference between one of them. So let's use the left-hand side and then start with the NAT mode. NAT mode, we can see the elements here of the network is just the MX. The MX is going to be here, sending traffic through the internet, whatever that is, and reaching out to the different applications that you have. Here, the, we always say it's O365 or Google or whatever other places in the internet. And it's going to go through the service provider, right? Whatever service provider you have. Let's say your router is going to be here, and then it's going to give you all the internet access. So what is the NAT mode? The NAT mode is this box, MX that is going to be in that configuration and let's explore and let's say you have this a switch in your branch and all the different devices. You have device B and here device A, right? So since you are connected to the internet service provider, normally what you're going to have is a public IP address and that public IP address, let's say is 2.2.2.2. .2 That's the one that the service provider is going to assign to your one interface in the max. Well, what you can do in that mode is create your LAN and in your LAN, you can create your own IP addresses and your own VLANs. And that mode, what it's going to do is translate the LAN IP addresses that you have here, let's say the private IP addresses that you have created, like VLAN 1, 2, and 3. And then to send traffic to the internet is going to translate that to the public IP address 2.2.2.2.2 that is assigned by your internet service provider. So you need that mode to make that happen, to segregate or divide the one internet connection to the LAN internet connection. And with that, it comes a lot of different features. But that's the main aspect between the NAND mode. And that's the differentiator to go to the pass-through or VPN concentrator mode. If we move to this side, then let's say that we're almost in the same situation. We have the internet provider, which is providing you the internet access to your applications. Let's put it again, O365, Google, and many more. So when you have that, this is the upstream firewall router. You say that there is no MX. The MX, we're saying that it's here. So it's inside of your network. And let's assume in this specific scenario, that this is your NAT device. So the MAX is not acting as a NAT device. You have your public IP address, 2.2.2.2 here, that is configured in the one interface of this device. And you have the LAN, which is gonna be here. And then you have the switches, and inside, below those switches, you have the MX. So the MAX is managing, or is having a private IP address. What you can see is that the MX is not, used, is not being used either as a firewall nor as the public IP address managed device. So it's not using as a NAT. What it's doing specifically, that's why it says VPN, is that this device is going to hold as the VPN, you can say the get, the gate, the VPN peer, or the VPN concentrator mode. So all the traffic that you have, like say that here you have another branch, and you need to create a VPN tunnel with that branch. So what it's going to do is the MX is going to connect to the MX that you have here. And they're going to create a VPN tunnel all the way through this MX. And the MX is going to terminate all the VPN tunnel connections. And it's going to look sending traffic as the private IP address that it has with all the information from the branch. So the MX is just purely to terminate all the VPN tunnels that you have from the different branches or the different other locations. And it's gonna have, it's gonna be your VPN peer in the corporate office. It's not managing anyone, it's not managing anything, just the VPN connections. And that's the main difference between that. Nanmo is managing that public IP address, translating the traffic from the LAN devices to the one. And pass through VPN concentrator mode is not doing any of that. It's just there having a private IP address and terminate all the VPN tunnels 
from the other different places to send traffic to the internal corporate office.